Hey YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So this video here, I'll be taking you guys through the paintwork on this Volkswagen Golf. The name of the color is Deep Black Pearl and the paint code is LC9X. You could also type in 2T and that would get you to the same color code. So the paint I'm using is Glazerit 55 line base coat and I'm using my Devilbus GTI Pro. I've got the H1 air cap on it which is the HVLP setup for the GTI Pro and I've got a 1.3 mil fluid tip on it. Yes, that's correct. This is some very old video footage shot in 2011. I've made a bit of a mention in a couple of my other videos to a place that I used to work in Melbourne. It was a Prestige Collision Repair Shop and they used the entire Glazerit system without any other information inferior products at all and it definitely did make my job easier and it definitely made for a lot nicer end results it sped the process up so you're not waiting in between coats for very long and all I would do is go in that spray booth and I would never leave until I was finished even little things like using the PPS cups which is something that a lot of my followers would be um, not used to seeing me use so I would mix all my paints up set that booth to 27 degrees go in and paint and I just, it was like clockwork, I had gun settings, I had um, yeah, a whole system that I would follow and I was getting paid a really good coin but I was producing a really good amount of work to a top quality. This is around the time when I did start doing the dry sanding techniques and also first using HS clears correctly with HVLP air caps. It took me a little bit to get the hang of it at the start about two weeks until the reps actually came out and showed me how to use the HVLP air caps properly with their HS clear and it was like a fish to water basically as soon as they showed me a couple of key techniques I was off and my painting was be better than I've probably ever done uh, even since to be honest um, it's not that the work ethic ain't there it's that the um, the environment and the products that you're using do actually make a bit of a difference to the end result now the video footage in this isn't quite as good quality as you probably used to in my recent videos but I was actually just looking through some of my hard drives and I found this footage I thought you know what I'm gonna edit that up um, back in this day it was like yeah 2011 mid 2011 and um, I wanted to make a few YouTube videos I couldn't even figure out how to use the video editor that's how how far I've come in um, yeah in my video making and stuff like that so if you look through my channel the very first video I ever uploaded to YouTube was unedited raw footage of me doing the clear coat on this GTI Golf so I decided you know what I may as well put it all together now that I know how to edit it up and do a bit of a once off for my second anniversary of the gunman so two years ago today I uploaded my first video in 2014 February 6th as the gunman and from there I've made in excess of 300 videos I've built my website and quite an amazing following in such a short amount of time so I'd like to say a big thanks to all you guys and stay tuned for the next two years because it's gonna be big y'all anyway onto the clear coat this is where the real magic starts to happen so you can see I'm holding the gun really nice and close the gun settings I used to use was two bar every single time I'd set that uh, pressure gauge to two bar I'd have the fan set to full fan and I would have the fluid wound right out so you wouldn't even worry about winding it in or anything like that. Um, maybe if I was doing a set of wheels or if it was starting to get colder, that's one thing I did notice that um, when the colder months started coming in, uh, especially in Melbourne, you know, you get a really hot summer and then the cold weather would start coming in, you'd actually start getting runs because you're used to laying it on real heavy in the warmer months. Cold weather would come around, runs would start happening because the clear's cold and the panel's cold as well. Um, yeah, since doing this, I never used to worry about uh, heating the clear up so much. I just heat it up a little bit by putting it in the booth and that would also help sort of catalyze it a little bit. So it would uh, catalyze for those who don't know, it's, it means it's starting to go off, it's starting to change. That's actually the word for catalyze. But anyway, um, yeah, so basically the thing that I didn't get they worded this application method 3070. Now, I said to the guy who came and did the training with me, I said, man, it's more 7030. The key was that your first coat has to be a closed coat. So it has to make it so that you cannot see through to any of the base coat or any of your um, uh, standard clear where you're doing your blend. So it must be a full closed coat. And then literally you can see here, I'm walking straight back around 
and putting that second coat on. There's no flash off times. That's the Glazerit 255 clear, HS clear. It would easily make my top three clears. That is, again, a very hard list to make, though, when you're talking clear coats. I would like to do another video, like a top 10 video on some clears, but it would definitely take a little bit of... Uh, yeah, consideration before I go and throw a list like that together. Okay, another thing that I used to, uh, prior to actually getting it and getting that day's training with the guys from Glazeret, I was really confused about, you know, because when I started here, the boss was like, you've got to use HS Clear and you've got to use the HVLP setup. Now, to me, HVLP stands for High Volume Low Pressure. Now, I could spray a car with medium solids clear and a conventional air cap at 25 psi or like one and a half bar and I'm going to a HVLP spray gun and I'm using more pressure so figure that one out you know it, it technically the way I'm spraying here is high volume high pressure so that's where another little bit of confusion came from I didn't realize you had to have your guns pressure set so high um, but yeah, once I figured that out and a few other things about the application, I was absolutely off and I tell you what, I do often look back on this period of spray painting this time in my life, this uh, approximately a year it was, um, as yeah, probably uh, the golden era in my career. Prior to this, I was doing uh, four-wheel drive collision repairs, so you know, it was still okay, but I was working on a lot of nicer cars here. If you hang around to the end, I'll uh, include a few photos of the kind of uh, jobs that we used to do as well. And it was basically a painter's paradise, like the panel beaters, they did their job properly. They finished their repairs off well, and they were always done very like fine like so they didn't finish their repairs off with 80 grit and then expect the apprentice to go and feather it out and ruin the repair so you wouldn't be constantly uh, spending hours and hours fixing panel beaters stuff ups because there simply wasn't time for it so look there you go there's a the job done and literally you got to see every single second that I was painting that car what are we up to seven minutes now yeah seven minutes application and that is how you can get five of these kind of jobs done a day I was color matching masking prepping painting and I was doing easily 10 hour days uh, at this place I would work hard and I would play hard too as long as I was making good money I would definitely spend all that money on the weekend I didn't have a great deal to show for it but I was living a good lifestyle and um, yeah it was rare that the boss would actually come down and say good on you for a job he did come down and say, man, that was a really good job. Do apologize about the video footage. Wasn't the best, but I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video, and I'll be getting back to this kind of painting soon. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye. Get out there and paint some shit, y'all.